Hello ladies, it's your girl, The Terrica Love, aka Stylish Stylist. Today I'm going to be showing you ladies how to flat iron this honey blonde wig and show you how to achieve these curls. I got this wig from Supernova here. I love their wigs. Um, they colored it for me. I, I'm not going to lie, y'all. I hate bleaching now since I know I can just go by the wig and not sew it and stuff like that. But anyway, I love the color. I wanted something natural this time. So I'm loving it. Um, I don't know, it looks kind of funny right now. This is a, I believe, body wave curl. It came with a body wave curl. So that's always good when you want, um, when you want to curl your hair and you get a, a texture that's a curl pattern. Um, so I'm just getting a feel for it kind of right now, figuring out where I want to do my part. Y'all will be seeing me, you know, talking and making faces and all that. I'm just bumping this out. Whatever I'm listening to, I'm feeling it, y'all. <laughs> I just love, you know, listening to music while I do my hair. It's so therapeutic. So right now, I decided I'm going to go with the side part because uh, yeah I love side parts especially with curly hair now that I figured out where I want to do my part I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the mannequin and do my little plucking So now I'm just adding some water on here. Uh, you can use a spray bottle, it'll actually be better, but I'm standing right there by the sink, so you know, I was just going with the flow. But yeah, you want to add water, it's the hair is easier to pluck when it's wet. At least for me, everybody has their own methods, but I kind of like plucking mine um, where the closure part or the front part is wet. And this is a closure wig, by the way, too, y'all. I didn't say that earlier. It's a closure. So that's how it looks before the plucking. So now you want to go ahead and start plucking. And the best way to pluck is, I guess, like forward. You want to pull the hair forward from the way that it's going in the part. And it'll give you a cleaner, um, you know, part when you're finished.
So there, now you can see when I get ready to put it on, it's gonna look so good. Hey. Now we're about to start the curling process. The first thing I like to do before I curl, flat iron or whatever is section the hair off. So like the front big swoop part, I'ma section that off in the front by itself. Excuse me. Then I'm going to section off the other side in the front and, you know, start from the back. Before you saw curl and flat iron and whatever, the first thing you want to do is always put some hair serum on your hair, whether it's your natural hair or your weave. Put that on there. That way you can have a good shine and your hair doesn't look dry either. So you take your flat irons and you kind of wrap the hair around. You start wrapping it around in a circular motion. And you just kind of, you know, keep twisting it until you get down to the end. Of their piece of hair keep twisting make sure you keep twisting because that's how it's going to get curly and then kind of catch the curl at the end you roll it and you pin it now i'm using this method right here it's like the pin curl method you curl the hair you pin it up and then it it holds the curl um you know for some time especially if you spray it down and everything with some holding spray or some spritz or something but uh like when you're curling whether it's a client's hair or a wig or whatever and you do the pin curl it'll hold that curl So basically, I'm just going to keep repeating these steps, but I do want to point out before we get to this later on in the video um, about the pin curls. You can kind of see right here that they're loose as far as at the roots. Um, the perfect one, well, I'm not going to say the perfect ones because they're all nice, but if you really, really want, um, I kind of mostly wanted my curls to hang like on the ends. I wasn't really that bent out of shape about them from the root part right on down. I mostly wanted my curl towards the end of the hair, so I got the look I was going for, but for future references, if you want like that full curl all the way from the root to the ends, make sure that you pin it very, very tightly um, at the root part. And I'm gonna go back later on and show y'all how to do that. Get yourself AJB. <laughs> 
So basically, I'm kind of done with the back part now. I wanted to go back and show y'all what I was talking about when I said, um, you know, to make the pin curls tighter at the roots. All you got to do really is keep twisting it in a circular motion towards the part where the root is, where you can kind of see right here. And then you make sure you pin it right there at the root. Like, you're going to be able to feel it. But make sure it's all the way, um, you know, curled in. So like I said, I'm done curling the back. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and cut my lace off like in the front. I also finished curling the side is with the, you know, shorter side, not the soup side, but I finished curling that side as well. I didn't feel like, you know, yeah, I had to keep watching that. Y'all get the point, but yeah, so I wanted to cut this part because I'm going to curl the remaining swoop part on my own head, which I will see in a minute. But when it comes to cutting lace, you want to be very careful. You don't want to cut like right um, beside where your cap is. You want to cut, I'm just going to say like a centimeter more forward. That way when you're, you know, wearing the wig, when you want to do your baby hairs, or even if you don't, um, you'll be able to tell on your scalp, but it won't be noticeable. So make sure you kind of cut it like a centimeter more forward than where the cap is. So now y'all can see what the pretty pin curls look like. I'm going to go ahead and take these down before I start curling the wig on my own head, the swoop side. And yeah, just check it out.
with the flat irons I do want to say after I did this it set up for like a week on my mannequin I just was not ready to wear the wig yet um I had an event coming up like two weeks later so I was like oh, I'll just wait it out um the other thing I did not show y'all on here I ended up going back y'all gonna see at the end but I ended up going back and just curling it with a one inch curling iron and I did cut my swoop because it was just too long in the front. So, yeah. I hope this video helped y'all. If y'all ever want to do some flat iron curls, 
And, you know, if you want me to make you a wig or whatever, just hit me up. All of my contact and social media information is in the description below. Hey, like, comment, and subscribe.